unless you have a perfect showroom condition Z car, your your seals probably look like this, which is probably causing a lot of wind noise and letting moisture into your car. So I'm gonna be replacing these today. Uh, this part is actually pretty simple, and you don't really need any tools to do it. So first off, uh, I already popped off these two clips. So just take this last one out. And this piece comes off as for this weather strip, it just comes off. So I actually bought a kit which comes with every single weather strip that's on the car. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and install this one first. So use a little flathead screwdriver, you can actually push this in there where it should be. Just a little more. Something like that. That's pretty close. Yeah. And I'm just going to work this into the grooves on the the door here. if it's needed. You want to make sure on the other side that they're all lit within the grooves too. And you're going to have a little bit of extra weather strips so you're just going to cut this off. The last part is to put in this rubber piece in front of the door and you just install the, the clips you took out back in and just slip back in place. Finish this. You have to see behind the door panel. Right. And you see this little hook cling on to the frame. Kind of move your door panel a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Fairly um, simple process. So you just pop off these three clips. Pull off this piece and then the weather strip on the door frame is pull out and then you use a screwdriver to get the new strip back into the grooves of the frame. And we will have a little overhang back here. I can just cut this off to the same length as the door. So now we're gonna replace the hatch weather strip seals, as you can see, I have the, the hatch off. And then we clean the uh, inner grooves here. So, like water and soap, just get this all clean. And if you have to, use a screwdriver, get any excess uh, glue or old weather strip off. And then, what we got here is 3M black weather strip adhesive. And you're gonna, we're gonna do one side here first so just this one side so we're going to apply some of this let it sit for a little bit and then we're going to apply it into the actual strip itself into these grooves and let it sit and then we're going to go ahead and bottom together when it's ready
now look at them all said and done. Uh, the glue is holding up pretty good. Just need to dry it a little more. And, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of extra rubber strip, so we're just gonna cut that off. Okay, so we got the inner hatch seal all done. This one is a little more difficult to do because the seals actually try to come out. And what we end up doing was just doing one side at a time and clamping them down with some vice grips. So this is a process of about two days to do the uh, inner hatch seal. But this should keep the moisture out now and um, there should actually be less exhaust fumes getting in so if you have exhaust fumes when you're driving your car, you should probably check on your inner hatch seals.